welcome to the channel so today my hot water heater decided to take a crap on me so guess what i get to do tonight it's exactly what i feel like doing on this monday evening is replacing the hot water heater in my basement so i'm gonna run the home depot get a new hot water heater and then we'll get this thing installed There it is. Get this. Willow. Willow. What are you doing, Tinkle Spritz? What are you doing, Tinkle Spritz? Huh? What are you doing, Tinkle Spritz? Huh? What are you doing, Tinkle Spritz? The only reason she's on a cable is because I have the gate open right now. Okay, so. You got this goofy little doorway into my <laughs> utility room and uh yeah so here's the old one as you can see it's leaking but it's leaking from like down in around there and coming up and uh actually i give gotta give credit to my pap for this because he was over yesterday and he was just, I was showing him the pallet shelf that I just built. And we came in the utility room here and he picked up the owner's manual was sitting right here on top. And he's like, oh, well, uh, I hate to tell you this, but you got a, a problem you're going to have to take care of here. And it looked just like this. So we took, there was one of these little plastic caps like this right here. We tried pulling that off there to see if we could see a small hole or something to see if it was repairable some way, shape, or form. And we couldn't find it, so I just figured I'm just going to do what's best and replace the thing. So, anyways, this right here is the reason why this is getting replaced. And I did find a date on this. It was manufactured in November of 2018. So it's only a few years old, but I have no paperwork on it. So I think it would actually still be under a manufacturer's warranty, but the previous owners didn't leave us any receipts for anything or any list of repairs that were made or anything like that. So. Here I am, doing it. Oh well, it needs to be done. What the heck, it is what it is. I was really hoping not to have to replace this anytime soon, but oh well. But thankfully this thing's only 100 pounds, so it's kind of big and awkward, but it's not very heavy. So, finished getting it in here, and uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long to install. Good. That was good for it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is okay, hot water 11 9. So, right here. All right, so now that I shut the power off, now I am going to turn off these valves, which, of course, this is the inlet, and this is the outlet. All right, first things first, I'm gonna disconnect the electric and get that up out of the way. Pretty simple. Red to white, black to black, copper to ground.
All right, I always treat electrical like it's a loaded pew pew. But anyway, so I just put the caps back on there. Now I'm going to take these off and get this disconnected. And hope I don't get sprayed in the face. One nice thing about these shark bites being on here is you can spin it. That is so freaking awesome. Well, that's pretty gnarly. Hmm. I actually kind of thought it would look a lot worse than that. Time to unbox. That's still draining into the sump pump. pressure relief hose on. Put the blue tape on there. Put it on the wrong way. So I am actually going to start filling this before I connect the electric. Alright, so now that I have the hot water heater filled with water, now I'm going to take these off and connect the wires. This should be fairly quick. It should take about, I don't know, not very long. All right, so as you see, I already got that right one. So everything is all connected um, and we are ready to go. It is full and I got these turned on now and come back over here to this and flip that on. So now we can get some water to start warming up. But um something that someone taught me i forget who it was i don't know if it was my grandpa i think it was my grandpa he said to always get a sharpie and write the date that you installed it just because then that way it's easy to remember because it's right there staring at you in the face every time you look at it i hope this was a help if it was smash the old like button and subscribe because only 1.9 
1.9 of you are subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.